this is Trey Passer. Welcome to my review of Stargirl. This is the Jeff Johns show run uh, show that was originally supposed to be on the DC streaming service, but then it got moved over to the CW. Okay, and okay, they had the debut episode that came on. Actually, I think it actually is on the DC streaming service, and then I think it's going to air on both. But and then tonight, it's supposed to be on the CW, which I think it's on right now, but I got to watch it on the DC streaming service, so I'm a member of that. Anyway, uh, this is a show about uh, stocks called Star Girl, but this is basically the story of a teenage girl, uh, Courtney Whitmore. She's like the stepdaughter of, of played by Brick Basinger. I remember her from Bella and the Bulldogs. Anyway, she's the stepdaughter of Luke Wilson's character, who plays Pat Duggan. He's a he was a former sidekick of the original Starman, and in this TV series, uh, you have uh, Joel McHale, you know, from Soup Talk Soup. He plays the star man. He was part of the Justice Society. And there's a great opening scene in this uh, this uh, premiere pilot episode, which is was really uh, well done. So you can see they actually put money into it because I guess they put it was originally, like I said, supposed to be on the DC streaming service. But anyway, uh, uh, Starman was part of the Justice Society. That's a group of heroes, uh, uh, which you know it's, it's a great. Uh, you know, I think the original Green Lantern was on there. Uh, 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 the Flash, the original Flash, just just a whole different group of uh, superheroes before the Justice League, actually. And in this version of it, uh, the Justice League, the Justice Society, excuse me, eh, they wind up getting you know killed, and you know the sidekick uh, Pat Duggan, who, who was a sidekick to Starman, he's given the staff and told to, you know, look, you know, basically he's given it to it, he's given it and told to you know go find you know somebody that has you know these qualities that, you know, of heroic and can fight justice and all that stuff. And then we flash forward, like, you know, like through to the present day, and we find, like I said, they're moving, <laughs> uh, Courtney's family is moving out of, from California. She's moving to Nebraska. And of course she, like I said, she, you know, she misses her father who basically her father walked out on her family and she's, you know, she's kind of hating on her stepfather because they, you know, the family has to move to Nebraska from California from all her friends and everything she knows. And she, so she has to move with her mother and her stepbrother and her stepfather, who she doesn't really like that much, to this, you know, Midwest town where everybody's friendly, everybody knows each other and stuff. And apparently, if you see, if you've seen the trailer, you know what happened. She stumbles upon Pat. He keeps, you know, he keeps records of the, you know, Justice Society and the staff. And she, and she, Courtney, who's having a hard time fitting into this new environment that she's into, she finds the staff and... And she actually finds out all these hidden secrets that Pat, you know, Luke Wilson's character has, and that's that's basically what you get in the pilot. Uh, and actually, I, this uh, pilot actually was very well done. It reminded me of uh, sort of Back to the Future, and and how okay, I like the colors in this show, and and the and the and the, and the villains, and the and the uh, and the heroes that you get to see briefly in the beginning of this. So I think they, you know, you can tell they put money into this pilot because it looks absolutely like movie-like. I, I definitely have to say that the opening scene looks spectacular with the special effects and, and all this stuff. But the main gist of the story, which really gets me, <laughs> or got to me, because I like Luke Wilson anyway. He's like he's like this humble guy who's you know, who's trying to move his family to you know to this to this town where everybody knows that and everything's from it. But he obviously he has a uh, hidden agenda. <laughs> And stuff that we don't quite know exactly what his total reason is. Uh, we can kind of speculate what his total reason is for moving his family out from California to Nebraska. But the interaction that's going to be in this pilot episode and going forward with him and his uh, step, you know, his stepdaughter, who's going to become the new Star Girl, uh, is going to be interesting to watch. And just to see, and again, I like Luke Wilson's good actor and the actress who was playing Star Girl, Brett. Basinger, she was really good in this pilot. I really liked her, and you can tell that she's had training <laughs> and stuff because she, you know, she does a lot of. You'll see what I'm talking about when you watch the pilot. Uh, hey, she's just really, really good with that, <laughs> with that staff and stuff. And the special effects are pretty good. And like I said, the the villains that we're going to see in this look pretty impressive too. They're, like I said, no, not cheap, great, not the usual cheap, great CW <laughs> stuff that they usually give you. This, this pilot was really good and really intriguing and really made me want to 
see the rest of the show. I wish they, I wish this, this was the thing that they could just, you know, like Netflix just binge, take this binge the whole thing. I think it's going to be 13 episodes for this first season. So we got to just tune in every week to see it. And so, but I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, this pilot, like I said, it had heart to it. It had humor in it and, and really good acting in it and good special effects and stuff. And I'm looking forward to, to seeing where this series goes with the, you know, with, you know, this Courtney character getting used to the staff and getting to know her stepfather and their relationship and how that evolves and stuff and the villains and stuff. We get going to get to see the villains and the new heroes that come along. I'm looking forward to seeing it a lot. This was a really good pilot. I'm going to give this pilot a 7.8. I really like it. And, uh, you know, I mean, the special effects and stuff were really good. I, I really, this pilot really, uh, Impress me. It's not more, more than the typical CW thing. This is really uh, well done. And Jeff Johns is the showrunner for this show. And obviously, he based this show on his sister, who his late sister, who died in a in a plane accident. Uh, uh, so he, you know, he based the, the character on his sister and stuff. And you can tell this pilot was made with a lot of love. You can just it looks like almost movie quality like. That's why I, I like the bright colors and. And the special effects look really good. And if they can keep that up, I guess, going forward, uh, I think you're going to have another hit on your hands. This is a really good show. And this can go with, and I know that this is going to be part of the CW universe. So I can't wait to see her interact with the Flash and everything. And the other characters in the CW universe, that would be really good. Supergirl, that would be even even more uh, uh, fantastic to watch. Anyway, I give it a 7.8. I definitely encourage you to watch it, and I'm going to be there watching it every week. Anyway, let me know what you think. If you've seen Stargirl the Pilot, what do you think of it? Feel free to leave comments down below. I have links to my social media in the description box, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Also, have a link to my other channel, Bob Views and Opinions. We check that out as well. And this is Trey Pass. saying so long. Take care.